Howdy folks! Welcome to Happy Trails Hiking. In this episode of Thursday Thursday, we are exit 6 in Cottleville, Missouri. This is an over 21 establishment and they don't have food, but you can bring in whatever kind of food you want. And so we have visited our local fast food emporium, we got some snacks, and we're going to go drink some beer. This is the final score. Please stay tuned till the end to find out how we got to this. All right, we are inside, obviously. We've got a table. We've uh, started our meal here. The first beer that I got was the Red Ale. It's called Ryan's Red Ale. The Red Ale is mildly hoppy, just a little bit of hop aroma. It's very pleasant, medium in body. It's a good all-around Red Ale. You could probably drink several of these without too much problem. So, a little bit on the lighter side, but very nice to go with the meal. So, I'm going to finish this and go and get a flight, and we'll see what happens after that. Alright, so we have our flight here. Number one here is the Exit 6 Vanilla Cream. This one is number three on the board, which is a Pineapple Berliner Sour. Number four is an IPA. And number five is a watermelon wheat. And you might have noticed that I left out number two, which was the red. So that's five total, and so we're getting all samples of exit six. So I think I'm going to start with the watermelon wheat here on the end. So this is number five. Does it smell watermelon-y? No, I'm not picking up, picking up any watermelon at all in the smell. But you definitely taste it. So it didn't smell it, but there's a very subtle... Well, it's not even all that subtle, it's noteworthy. There's a very noteworthy watermelon flavor. It's sort of like a Jolly Rancher watermelon flavor, except that it's not sweet. It's very unique. Wow. Okay. There's and there's hardly any bitterness or hops at all. I mean, there might might be a little bit, but you definitely don't pick up very much. So that one's very interesting. All right. So the next one, well, we'll save the IPA for last. So I'm gonna pop over to the other side here and do the, the vanilla cream next. So obviously very light in color. You can see through it pretty well. A lot of vanilla aroma. That's about the only thing I'm picking up. Hmm. Well, you taste the vanilla, and it's kind of like a lightweight beer with a little bit of vanilla essence in the taste and uh, definitely a lot of vanilla in the nose. So that one's nice, but I li actually like the watermelon better, I think. Alright, so we'll pull those out and now in the middle we've got the pineapple and the IPA. So let's go with the pineapple next. Now this is a sour. I'm normally not a fan of sours, but we, I, felt, I felt necessary to give it a go here. So, okay, so that's weird. Describe weird. Well, <laughs> it smells kind of like dirty. As sours go, 
Right. That's very, very mild. It's not like pucker the inside of your mouth mild. Or it's not, it doesn't pucker the inside of your mouth like some of them do. Um, and it's got, it sort of smells like pineapple and it just sort of smells like maybe I need to take a shower. So yeah, I don't know, it's kind of a bizarre. <laughs> odor um, but it tastes good so I don't know it's weird all right so I, I don't think I'll finish that one and the last one here is a that's an IPA okay good hop aroma Well, there's not an overpowering amount of hop flavor um, or bitterness, although you can tell that it's there. I think they could have beefed this one up a little bit. I think a little bit more malt, a little bit more hops would have actually helped it out. It tastes actually kind of thin um, compared to you know what I was expecting. I'm looking at ABV and we've got, indicates that it's 7% ABV for the IPA. Um, so it's a good beer. I certainly like it, but I was expecting a little bit more heft to it. So overall, out of all of these, um, I definitely like the red the best, and oddly, followed by the watermelon second. <laughs> all right, folks. I'm on the final beer of our trip to Exit 6. This very decadent looking stout is New Holland Dragon's Milk. It is 11% ABV, and this is an 11 ounce pour. That's everything I expected. I don't know if it's barrel aged or not, but it certainly tastes like it. It's got all the depth and complexity that you would expect in a barrel aged stout. And again, it may not even be barrel aged, but it certainly makes me think so. This is probably one of my favorite beers of all time. Cheers. Thanks for joining us. All right, so Canary leaving exit six. Uh, headed on to wherever Kate takes me, which is fine. Home. Yeah, we're going home. So final thoughts regarding exit six. Exit six. It was quiet in there because it was a Monday night. Yeah, so we're there on a Monday night. It's very quiet, plus you have to be 21 to get in. So that was awesome. Uh, no food, but we brought in the food that we wanted. So that was awesome too. So beer selection. They've got a lot of different stuff. Some of it's local, some of it is not. Um, they've got their own beers there too from Exit 6 Brewing. So the Exit 6 beers, the Red Ale was my favorite, followed by the Watermelon. The rest of them, yeah, I don't know, not all that great in and of itself. But even if you don't like their beers, they have beers from all over the place. And my favorite was the New Holland's Dragon's Milk. So, Exit 6 is a great place to go if all you really want is a beer and you just want to hang out and chill and have some selection while you're doing so. So two thumbs up for Exit 6 and stay tuned for the final scores.